All right, hi and welcome to I Will Try. Today I am go-karting and here with me is my best friend Michael. All right, and uh, we are going to have a little battle while go-karting. Hope you like it. Here we go. Now don't worry, I know what you came for. And that for good reason probably. Because at least once everybody has driven a go-kart or something like it and almost certainly there will have been that one guy whose name is Jason or Emmanuel and you can't get past him he keeps talking about his last trip to this fancy place and he's looking at your girlfriend funny and deep inside you just want to beat him go-karting of course and today I'm gonna show you how here are some tips Michael and I gathered over time that should help you beat Jason Emmanuel in no particular order Number one. Oh, apparently there is an order. Don't drift. I know, it looks cool and sideways shenanigans are great fun, but they also ruin your lap time. So quit the drifting, start the shifting. Alright, that was bad. Number two. Keep an eye out for the ideal racing line. That means that usually you should brake before you turn with your wheels pointing straight ahead because otherwise you'll start drifting, which is against rule number one, remember? Come from a wider point of the track and hit the apex of the curve just where the inside is. Accelerate and box your uncle. Number three. Drive fluently. Go-karts aren't as powerful as your regular out-of-the-box Lambo, so you want to make the most out of the few horses that have been given to you. Driving fluently is doing exactly that, so no abrupt changes in direction and look ahead your lap times will show the difference. Number 4. Watch him drive. I'll explain this very mysterious one in a second. Now getting in front is very important, but it is worth nothing when that one fella steals the lead in the last corner. So here's how to make sure to never give up pole. Ever! So number 5. Be as fat as you can. Well, actually no. 10 kilograms more weight costs you 300 of a second on the track of 750 meters we are driving on here. So what I mean is, you know where that ideal racing line is and you just cover the whole thing. Don't let him pass you. Have eyes in the back of your head and use the whole width of the track to always be in front. Number 6. Adapt to his driving style. Here's why it was important to watch him carefully. You've been behind him, you know where he usually turns, brakes and accelerates. And now, be there! These basic tips should help you be the fastest and beat that guy. Now, on a less serious note, I have some more... tips, I would say? Anyway, we'll see what comes out of it. Exhibit A. When he's behind you, you can try to brake early, forcing him to brake harder. He's gonna be thinking, that was weird, why did he do that? And then you already accelerated out of the turn and are way ahead. Michael Schumacher did that once in Formula 1. However, this might sound a bit unfair to some people, so forget that I said that. Number B. Regarding the weight aspect, generally it is better to weigh less than the one in front of you. However, there is sometimes the option to add weights to the cards. Most racing tracks do that in official races and maybe you can go ahead and ask for equal rights for everybody. What is he gonna do? Say no and look like a, an unpolite person? One final advice. Don't spin. That's bad. Don't do that. Also, don't crash. <laughs>